today we're gonna be integrating the Lambert W function. If you have no idea what this function even is, then I'm just gonna quickly tell you that the Lambert W function, W of x, is, the, is defined as the inverse of the function that is x times e to the power of x. And so what it really means is that whenever we plug in x times e to the x into the number w, we are gonna just get x by itself. And whenever we multiply e to some power times w of x, and this power actually happens to be the w of x as well, we will be also left with an x. And so this function is very useful when dealing with exponential equations and stuff like this that I and I'm sure I've evoked this a lot of times on my channel already, but today we're gonna be integrating it, which is quite a bit of a different thing because as of um, always, I haven't really seen a close form of this function, honestly. That's gonna be fun. So how do I want to do it? First of all, I'd like to make myself a use up, the best possible use up ever, which is u equal to the number w of x. Yeah, and so why this obscure u sub is gonna work? Because now, if I exponentiate both sides, that is raise e to the power of both hand sides of this equation, I'm gonna get e to the power of u be equal to e to the power of the w of x. Hmm, okay. But now I'm gonna just use the fact that u is the number w of x. Oh no, what did I do now? That Lambert that u is the lambda w of x, to multiply both sides by u, or rather, well, the lambda w, which is gonna give me e u times e to the u is w of x times e to the w of x. But, as I've already said today, this thing here is x. Aha! And so we get this u sub of u times e to the u is x, which I will really like, because now, I'm gonna just well, also have to take the differential element, which is going to be the dx equal to u plus 1 times e to the u, du. And so then my integral becomes, after we'll plug in the du sub, this indefinite integral of u squared plus u times e to the u, du, which is something that we can deal with using integration by parts, and not to, not to bore you guys to death, I'm just gonna do it quickly, I will get, I will just set my eu to be the dv, and this thing here to be my u, yeah, like this, and so what I'm gonna get after doing that is, first of all, u squared plus u times e to the u minus the integral, of 2u plus 1 multiplied by e to the u du. Once again, the exponential becomes the exponential becomes the dv. This thing here becomes my u. Now, once again, this thing by integration by pass is going to be u squared plus u e to the u, and then minus um, is going to be 2u plus 1 e to the u and then plus the integral of 2 times e to the u du which is just 2 times e to the u du e to the u and so now I can just go on and multiply all of, all of that stuff out what I'm gonna get after doing that is first of all u squared e to the u then u e to the u then minus 2 times u e to the u and then plus e to the u um, e, pl yeah, plus e to negative e to the u and then plus 2 e to the u and I forgot the plus c here. Yeah, you can tell that I'm an engineer. So, now, mm, let me just combine like terms, u squared e to the u and then minus u e to the u and then plus e to the u and then plus c. So now, to recall that u times e to the u was x, and so we will get u times x minus x, and then plus e to the u, and then plus c. But now, what was u? u was just the w of x, and so we will get x times the lambert w of x minus x, and then plus e to the w of x plus c. Hope you guys enjoyed it and see you in the next one.